Hi, this is Jessica Donnell at the AT&T Center, and I'm here with another episode of Stage 5 from New Filmmakers LA in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. We have another great slate of filmmakers for you this month, so let's go take a look at a clip. Now, where was your dad during this? Did he have his head buried in the Crossword Puzzle oh. Magazine? He wasn't around. Oh! He was on his way out oh, the train. Oh, can I hear that again? He wasn't he around. He was on his way. I just got there before him. Why don't you give us a brief synopsis of your film? Um, 88 Miles to Moscow is a coming-of-age story. A 15-year-old girl named Nikki is on a train trip with her dad, and she gets off to sneak a smoke and misses the train and finds herself on a little adventure involving her, her ex-con dad, her troubled mother, and, and a young Russian garbage man. What was the concept behind 88 Miles to Moscow? Well, I was inspired by um, a true story of um, a friend's mom who was on a train trip, got off, missed the train, and had to, you know, met someone who's like, we're going to race the train, and we're going to, you know, I, I can totally get you there before the train does, and you'll get back on, and, and they did, and, you know, her mother never, never noticed she was gone. So I'm like, wow, that's, that would be a great short film. Um, and I just... I went from there. Um, I wanted to do a lot of improvisation. I wanted to work very organically with the actors. Um, I wanted to just be open to um, to kind of ideas as, as they came along to kind of build the story and just make it feel as real as possible. So um, that's how it happened. And what were some of the difficulties you encountered? I would say dealing with. Um, shooting trains um, and shooting on the train and um, having one chance to get certain shots because the train only came through the station one time in that direction a day. So I'm like, okay, when Nikki misses the train, when it takes off behind her, like we get, we get one chance, we have one take, we got to get it. And there were two or three shots like that. Um, it, was, it was challenging and kind of crazy, but um, you know, it made us really, really focused and we're like determined we're going to do this, and we did. Did you have to do any of those one chance shots again another day? Well, no, and we didn't, I mean, we really didn't have that luxury. You know, we were in a pretty tight shooting schedule. So, like, you know, we're going to be at this location today. And we, we didn't even really think about, like, if we don't get it, we're like, we're going to get it. <laughs> I'm sure we would have figured something out, but, um, uh, and then there, you know, the last shot of the film, or the second to the last shot, um, we see the Rostas, the, the Russian garbage man she meets, is, is waving to her out the, uh, you know, she sees him out the train window, and she's dri he's driving along. And that was like the miracle shot <laughs> that nobody thought we'd get, um, but I'm like, we got to try. And uh, we managed to do it without any cell phone reception and just kind of coordinating um, it worked. I still can't believe it. Where do you want to go from here? Well, this was my UCLA thesis film. So the next step is um, really to, to start working towards a feature, which is the goal. Um, I wouldn't mind making a couple shorts, you know, between now and then. Um, but I am, you know, working on scripts. And I also have a background in documentary. Um, so, you know, I'm. Every now and then, I'm just like, okay, you know, this is done with script. I just want to, I just want to go out and shoot like reality for a little while. So, um, um, different things in the pipeline, but we'll we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, 